Hey everyone, Charlie here. Long time no see. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about what's going to be happening on this channel in the very near future. Uh, as some of you maybe noticed organically or noticed when I pointed out when I pointed out on Twitter, um, the Charlie no Seikatsu channel is um, well, it's finished, I guess, um, in a sense. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about that and give you guys an idea of what's going to be happening. I already said that, but, uh, so, uh, as you can see, if you look be below the video, uh, this channel is no longer the Charlie no Seikatsu channel, it is the One Cup of Japan channel, uh, it just felt like maybe the Charlie no Seikatsu thing is, mm, run its course, I guess, to say the least. Um, I've been thinking about for a while what I can do on YouTube that would make me feel like I was doing something worthwhile and something that I enjoyed and uh, it's been something that my partner has been really really supportive of and pushing me to try to get back into this to do again something that I felt like I wasn't just spending time to make a video that I, I wouldn't enjoy making kind of thing just for the sake of making a video kind of thing um, and so I tried to remember the videos that uh, you guys who had supported the channel like the most and those always seem to be the one cup of Japan videos and so I thought well why don't we go with that right now uh, that being said uh, the format of the one cup of Japan videos are not going to be the same at least uh, for a little while uh, because well I don't know if you can tell by looking at this but I, I moved a couple months ago and to do that uh, in order to make that process a little bit easier and less financially crippling, I sold like a ton of stuff, right? So uh, some of those things included my cameras and my my tripods and my microphones and things like that because to be honest at that time I thought well I think maybe that stage of my life is over. But what became increasingly clear to me over the last couple of months was that I need an outlet which is not reliant on anybody else, that is just me deciding to sit down and make something um, that I want to make kind of thing. So uh, that's why we are where we are now. And that's also why the, the format kind of has to change necessarily for a little while. And when I say change, what I mean is that temporarily, uh, although how temporarily I don't know, uh, the One Cup of Japan videos will be limited to basically this room. I'm sure it will change what would be over in my like office area over there um, for most of the videos. Uh, so in the sense of us, in the sense that we won't be walking around uh, talking, uh, we'll be sitting down and talking at least at least for the next little while. Um, however, the basic format will not change. It'll still be like a talk about a topic kind of thing that pertains to Japan, although that too, in a sense, will change because maybe some of the things we're going to talk about are incidental changes or incidentally connected to Japan. Maybe they're not like, you know, something you would necessarily associate uh, with Japan. So we're going to be talking about maybe things to do with the lifestyle here or social problems here or entertainment news, that kind of thing here. But what I don't want to do anymore is I don't want to just sort of like necessarily talk completely off the top of my head and make completely opinion based. Um, one of the things I really wanted to get back into is trying to make it a little bit more like researched content. I'm trained to research um, things, right? Like, so maybe this will make my mother happy that I'm finally putting my, my history degree to use. But, um, you know, I, I want to get back into things that are talking for more of a financial, a financial, what? A factual basis. And, uh, then of course I'll, I'll certainly give my opinion on things as well, but I want to give people uh, the reality of certain situations, at least as the reality as I interpret it based on the facts, based on my own lens and how I look at life, right? Because that's how things work. So uh, basically that's where gonna, things are going to be going. I imagine that the trickle of videos will be kind of slow from the start, maybe something like once once a month or best case scenario once every two weeks because again I'm going to be doing the research and be doing it by myself and probably given the fact that they're going to be based the videos are going to be based on things happening in Japan a lot of the stuff is going to be uh, based on Japanese primary and secondary sources 
So I'm going to have to go through the process of translating that uh, so that I can use it in these videos. Not necessarily translating it, maybe, but if I want to make it available for you guys to, to read the sources as well, then I'm going to need to translate it and stuff like that too. So um, I'm not going to make any promises about, um, you know, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. The only thing I can say right now is that, like I said, my goal is to have once a month and nothing more ambitious than that for now. Uh, I do want to say before ending the video, uh, I want to thank everybody who supported this channel and still everybody who stayed subscribed to the channel even when it was clear that probably I wasn't going to be coming back. I love the Japanese humidity and it makes my hair puff up like popcorn, what's left of my hair. Um, I want to thank everybody who's just been so supportive of the channel and stayed with the channel even when the videos haven't been coming out and the comments I've received from you guys like, hey, are you ever going to be coming back to make videos? And I miss your voice and that kind of thing. That's that's always been really, really nice for me to hear and I'm really appreciative of that. And I hope this next, this next iteration of the channel will um, be just as interesting to you. Um, and I, I hope you'll stick around for that. Oh, one thing I forgot to say, which is very important, <laughs> which is an important part of this, is that in addition to there being the video version of One Cuppa, there will be a podcast version. Now, as I said, I sold off my microphones as well, so the podcast versions are not going to be terribly high quality, I imagine, for a little while until I can record with a dedicated mic so that I'm not just splitting the audio from the video and turning that into a podcast, basically. But um, those will release concurrently with the One Cup of Japan videos, so I haven't decided exactly on the platform yet, probably something like iTunes, depending on the process. Um, but when a video goes live on YouTube, simultaneously the, the podcast will go live on whatever platform I decide to go with. So, uh, I guess in closing, thank you for your support. Um, I'm a little bit sad that the Charlie No Seikatsu name will be going away now. It still exists on Instagram, at least for now, but that will be going away shortly. Um, I'm really appreciative to all the people I've met. Uh, I've made some really good friends because of this channel and I've also met people that I don't really want to have anything to do with in my life, which is just it's the way it goes. Uh, but it's been it's been really fun to sort of screw around and learn things about video editing and that kind of thing. But you know, uh, I want to take a step forward and do something that's a little bit more close to uh, I guess what I'm interested in and what I think people need to hear if they're living outside the country and are sort of seeing this, I don't, I don't it's not a lifestyle to live in Japan, right, but uh, who see this kind of experience as, uh, through, through rose-colored glasses. So uh, that's my goal, is to give you kind of a more factually based uh, lens through which you can view this whole experience of living in a different country, particularly living in Japan. And, um, yeah, so look for the first video probably within the next week or two, depending on how long uh, the research takes for that. And also keep an eye on my Twitter account, which is now C. Hayward Jr., uh, because I'm also going to be doing like some more like polls and stuff like that to help get some, some data, albeit from a limited uh, range of people about certain topics they're going to talk about in these videos going forward. So, uh, thank you so much as always for watching, thank you for staying subscribed to the channel despite the fact that nothing was coming out, and I really hope you'll continue to support uh, me and the channel going forward. Uh, so on that note, I'll see you all very soon. Cheers.